I'm making this beam compass from walnut and cherry because that's the scraps I had lying around. Now I'm starting off by ripping a 2 inch piece from the walnut. I'm going to use this for the beam. I'm cutting my beam to 2 feet in length, but of course you could make one whatever length you want. Next I have to make the sliders for both the pointer and pencil holder. I'm using the cherry and I'm starting off by ripping a 2 inch strip. Next I have to cut 4 pieces at 4 inches. These are going to be for the faces of all the sliders. And then I have to rip out a 1 inch strip which is going to be used for spacers on the sliders. For the spacers, I'm just cutting four pieces at two inches, just matching the width of the faces. And this is how they work, simply stacking up a couple faces with the spacers in between. I'm first assembling the pointer slider, and the process between the two is very similar. Something to point out here is when I'm gluing the spacers on the face, I'm using the beam here to help align things because that way I don't have to measure. I need to use the other face as a clamping plate, so instead of gluing it, I'm going to add some screws on the bottom to sort of loosely hold it in place. In order to clamp the slider in place, I'm going to drill a 5 16 inch hole on the opposite side of the screws, and then I'm using my 10 inning jig to cut a very shallow notch where that bolt is. This is going to be on the inside and this is going to help leave space so it can actually clamp shut. As you can see here, you can kind of see that shallow notch right there and it's on the inside so it leaves room to close tighter. For the pointer, I'm just going to use a nail and glue it in with construction adhesive. Moving on to the pencil holder. The process here is basically exactly the same as the pointer, but I did change my mind about something later. When I first assembled this, I just glued everything together to make it permanent. But later on, I changed my mind and I thought it would be nice if it was adjustable, just like the pointer. So you'll see later how I did that. Now the part that's different, I'm cutting out two pieces at one and a half inches. I'm going to use these as the actual pencil holder that attaches to the slider. After the glue dries, I round off some of the corners, but also clean up some of the glue spots that are still visible. Now the way this holder works is a pencil goes through those two pieces and it's held in place with a knob. So I have to drill out a 5 16 inch hole. This is where the pencil can freely slide between. Next I have to drill out and tap a space for the knob here, and I'm using a quarter 20 knob, so there's a corresponding drill bit and tap depending on the knob size. I finished this with polyurethane, but this really is optional, especially if you use plywood, but it can help protect it if you decide to do so. Now right about here is where I realized I should probably make the pencil holder adjustable, just like the pointer. So I started by drilling all the holes first because I figured it was easier to keep everything aligned when it's still permanently attached. And then I used the bandsaw to very carefully cut out that piece. For assembly, I'm starting with the sliders, and I'm adding some T-nuts on one side. I'm 
On the opposite side, I'm just sending through a knob with a washer. This is going to be how I clamp these in place. And of course, I have to re-add the pencil and then tighten that in place as well. But after that, I'm ready to move on to the beam. I'm adding this adhesive back steel measuring tape. Now, I already measured it to size, and I figured out kind of a rough idea of where I needed to place it. And this is actually why I decided later on to make the pencil holder adjustable. It's so I can fine-tune this later on. Now with both sliders on, I was able to fine tune this so I had the right measurements. And I do have to say, taking the time to redo that pencil holder so it's adjustable was a total game changer because it's real easy just to put this to whatever measurement I want. And then I know that's going to be an accurate radius. <laughs> 